Crimea needs to stay in their own country, not, not Ukraine or Russia. That makes me sad when they fight because I know they're going to get hurt. And Could you please donate money and save lives? Thank you. Oregon's governor and ABTV's Newsmaker of the Year, Raga Mandala. Hi, I'm Raga Mandala. I'm 12 years old and I go to Stoller Middle School. My mom is an engineer and my dad's an IT professional. My sister Thada is three and she's super cute. I enjoy reading a good book in one sitting, going on long walks with my friends, and memorizing the make and model of every car in the neighborhood. I also love dogs and I've been begging my parents for one. No luck yet. I just love seeing everyone around me be happy. I used to have so much fun making food for my family when I was little. That's how RFK Raga's Fun Kitchen took shape. The operating model of RFK is simple. I cook, invite people over, and donate the proceeds from the food sales to charity. Preparing for the fundraisers, however, can be exhausting. Shooting promo videos to advertise the events, grocery shopping, and of course, cooking and prepping the food. Initially, I didn't know how to make many dishes, and I didn't raise much either. Only a couple hundred dollars after days of hard work. Over time, I became more comfortable with cooking, and the proceeds increased too. It's a lot of fun to see people appreciate my cooking, and gratifying too, because I was doing something good. I'll be honest, I was scared of them. I would hide and avoid any eye contact whenever I saw them. But one day, I got an opportunity to cook and serve food in a homeless shelter through Chetana Foundation. I also visited another local homeless shelter called Join Portland. They transitioned the homeless into permanent housing. After these experiences, I had a whole new perspective on the homeless. They're just normal people going through difficult times. Ending homelessness has been the focus of my fundraisers ever since. We first heard about it on the radio. Fifth graders could campaign on a platform of their choice for a chance to become Oregon's kid governor for a year. I was in fourth grade and I was already seriously working on ending homelessness. So it made sense for me to give this campaign a shot. I made a video with my three point plan that fifth graders across the state could embrace to help end homelessness. Fortunately, I won the elections and I was inaugurated as Oregon's third kid governor on January 8, 2020. It got off to a flying start. I visited the housing department in which I learned about the state's programs to help the homeless. I attended a conference in which they talked about permanent supportive housing initiatives across the state. I visited a school in Eugene where I talked to them about my vision. I visited a city council meeting where I shared my ideas. And I met with a senator and learned of the ways kids can impact legislation. But then the pandemic brought all the fun to a screeching halt. It was difficult making progress on my campaign promise with schools and government offices shut down. Gradually, I was able to resume doing fundraisers while adhering to the social distancing guidelines. I visited another school online, I met with people remotely via my online initiative Career Corner, and continued being an influencer through my awareness activities and fundraisers despite the pandemic. As of today, I've hosted 15 fundraisers and have raised over $23,000 for various charities including homeless shelters and schools. More than a dollar value, I'm proud of the lasting connections and friendships I've made in the process. It's cool hearing young kids say that they're inspired by what I do. I owe big time to my family for being the backbone of my work. They stay up late with me, pay for all the ingredients, and handle all the event logistics. And of course, I'm grateful to all my RFK supporters for cheering me on. 
everyone needs to cook like me and not everyone needs to feel passionate about homelessness either. There are many kids who are making a difference to causes they feel strongly about. Some with their art, photography, knitting, or even babysitting and dog sitting. I truly believe that we're never too young to make a change for a cause that we feel passionate about. We just need to educate ourselves, spread kindness to those around us, and influence legislation for the better. That's exactly what I intend to do in the future. Learn, love, legislate. You can do it too.